everybody. Welcome back to J and K Getaway. Today we're here in St. Cloud. Uh, we're going to go do the must do's. I posted on an open forum page called St. Cloud Rants and Raves. Save St. Cloud. Uh, we had some uh, some members. Uh, they were they gave some good advice on the must do's, and there were some not <laughs> so good reviews. Sarcastic. Very sarcastic. <laughs> so we're going to take everything into account. It's going to be fun. But we're going to go show you the must-dos of St. Cloud. So thank you so much for being part of our... Get away. One of the staples in St. Cloud is Sip and Dip Donuts. Uh, they make donuts, they make breakfast, dinner, and lunch. Uh, Every day, fresh donuts. One of the biggest staples of St. Cloud is to come in and to enjoy a big donut. We're gonna show you a donut once we head over to the lakefront. That's another staple of what we're gonna be doing. But uh, here's the inside of Sip and dip donuts. Another must do in St. Cloud is going to be the Cup Diner, uh, AKA Coffee Cup right here. Um, they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, they have really good pancakes, really good breakfast, uh, really good dinners, really good lunch. They have every, overall, everything's really good about the Cup. Uh, and it's not that expensive for a breakfast or a lunch uh, here in right on 192, right next to the water tower. So we did not stay at Sip and Dip to eat. We came down to Lakefront to sit at one of the tables outside because it is a really nice day. But even though it is technically lunchtime, we chose donuts for lunch. We never really eat breakfast. Biggest donut of my life. What kind of donut is it? It's a coffee roll. It's basically just a cinnamon roll, but it's called a coffee roll. I'm really basic when it I'm really basic when it comes to donuts. I don't like all technical, but I do love a good vanilla sprinkle donut. And add the St. Cloud Lakefront to one of the must do's of St. Cloud. Um, there's activities, water, a water activity for all the kids. There's a playground for the kids. You can come out to the sand, play some volleyball if you really wanted to. Um, hit the lake if you want to. You can go down to the piers and view the uh, Krabby Bills. But we're going to make our way to one of two piers that are out here. So we're moving on. A view of the sidewalk leading up to the pier itself uh, very beautiful trees it's coming into spring now so there's buds little leaf buds that are growing buds 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 what are what are the what are butts you're saying butts i know i'm saying butts like you're saying buds buds i know but it's as you get a <laughs> let's get a view of Crabby Bills, uh, the, marina. the marina, and the lake itself. So we're gonna move on to the pier down there, and give you a view of over there. 
but this is also the view of down at the pier at the very end of the pier we can go out into the sun and show you a little bit of the water we have some fishermen over here they're fishing um it, it's somewhat of a humid day it's really really hot out but just let's get some views of the water the lake and let's enjoy the sounds Another must for St. Cloud is going to be Lake Runny Mead Conservation Area. Uh, hour to sunrise to, to sunset. Um, got some rules and regulations here. But uh, also there is a bathroom for public use. It is not a, it is an outhouse for those who need to go to the bathroom. Um, but we're going to take you through some of the trails and uh, kind of view Lake Run, uh, Runny Mead. So here we go. So true story about uh, Runny Mead. Whenever COVID happened, yeah, uh, everything shut down. Everything shut down. And like for instance, I was off of work for a month and a half. I was off for two weeks. Um, we had a scare with our family. Uh, we used to come out here every every day to come walking because we found ourselves restless. And we we felt like we needed to go do something, exercise our body. So we came out here, uh, we saw owls, we saw all kinds of wildlife that, are, that is out here. Also another uh, addition to Lake Running Mead is it is a great uh, opportunity for photo shoots. Uh, me and my family, we had a photo shoot here once. Uh, I know that some of the uh, high schoolers, they come out here for prom or for hum homecoming. Home homecoming? A lot of engagement shoots, so. There, you could take that into effect, but this is a must do for St. Cloud. You come out here and you feel disconnected from the world. And that's why partially we came to Lake Rennie Mead whenever COVID happened. So it's pretty cool to come out here. Oop, somebody have forgotten their drink. There is a caterpillar on it. Hello, Mr. Caterpillar. tables and barbecue pits that you can come out and do whatever um, they actually have a big old fire pit out here that you can have fires at genuinely I've never seen someone do a fire out here like even even in in high school I didn't really hear about it but we're coming up to this one field where there's usually like a lot of wheatgrass and stuff and this is where a lot of people do their photo shoots this way, right? Right now it looks kind of overgrown, but everything's yeah, everything's regrowing. I'll have to insert. So here, as you see, you see the bricks to make like a campfire. Someone has just recently had a campfire. Oh, yeah. Um, you have benches, and I believe these are uh, Boy Scouts that have made these this fire pit, these benches, everything like that. Um, but. Got that backside. I believe I saw a barbecue pit area that's over here. Yep, barbecue pit area, and you have some tables for some uh, like cover if it's raining and everything like that. So, all right, everybody. So you guys get a glimpse of running mead. We're gonna another go on the list. We are downtown St. Cloud, and. Uh, Another thing to do in St. Cloud was to come to 10th Street Produce and Deli. Uh, they have a really, really good Philly cheesesteak. Their Philly cheesesteak is so good. We, oh my we, gosh. We, we might just have to do that tomorrow for lunch. For lunch, right? Honestly. <laughs> but 10th Street Produce and Deli is right here on 10th Street and New York. It's going to be down the road from City Hall. And uh, I believe that we're going to...
we're going to be going to uh, an ice, no, not ice cream, iced shave. It's shaved ice. Shaved it's, it's, ice shaved. Wow. It's called the uh, sweet spot. The sweet spot? Yeah. Okay. We want to make our way there? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I've never noticed this sign. You never noticed that sign? No. Nope. No, never noticed it. So another fun fact of, I feel like this hotel has been going through construction for the past three years now. And it just feel like it's never going to stop. We had a lot of problems though. With like asbestos and whatnot, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. So it feels like it's been forever on the uh, rebuild of the museum, of the hotel, as you would. So, I'm gonna go to the ice cream stop. Okay, so update on the shaved ice sweet spot. They were closed. It said that they have a un, a uh, staffing issue for the day, so they had to close. Well, if need be, hire me. I will come help you make some shaved ice. That's so sad. I really wish we that could. That would have been our first Yeah, that would have been our first time in taking you guys with us. Yeah, I've never so. been there before. But we're gonna make our way to Pops Ice Cream Shop Pops. of St. Cloud. Pops. I'm gonna get a root beer float. Yeah. Possibly an, an extra drink because I'm extra thirsty right now. It is a whopping 90 degrees out today. So yeah. we're gonna move on. It's too hot. To ice, Pops Ice Cream Shop. Here we go. It's too hot. So as we get on to, uh, I forget what road it says. This is. 11th? Yep. That's Pennsylvania behind us is New York. So, and uh, we're going to come up on some ice cream cone. They should be open. Yeah, they're open. Ice cream cone chairs and like a table with some balloons out front. But this is what it looks like. They're so cute and little. I like small things. So this is their root beer float. It's got their cute little logo on it. It's just, we just got the basic one. Usually they said that you can get it with, what do they come with? candy and whip, whipped cream on it, but we just got the regular ones. We are basic. But you can also do an orange creamsicle version. Alright everybody, so uh, we took you through things of what not to do in St. Cloud and also things to do in St. Cloud. But uh, we're going to take off from here. We just had some pops and waffle and ice cream shop here. But uh, thank you so much for being part of our Get away. What's up, Beard? What's up, Donkey? What's your name? I'm Joe, man. Whoa!